Pretty good. Felt like all my pitches were working good. Uh, just pounding the zone. Yeah, it's definitely a, uh, an obstacle. You know, you gotta make sure you're staying warm and staying moving around. Don't don't tense up while your uh, our offense is going to work. But then again, it's nice to have those runs up. Uh, kind of eases some of the pressure and kind of relaxes you a little bit. Sometimes guys, especially <clears throat> on the mound, they have to kind of work into the season a little bit to get comfortable. You had two pretty good starts, about as good as you could ask for to start out. What have you been able to do to get off that quick start? Uh, I'd say it's all about routine, you know. Um, from the practices in the inner squads in the spring, I've been kind of sticking with the same routine, and, uh, you know, it's been working out, so just kind of – Sticking to the routine, uh, doing what I can do as far as controlling where my pitches are, and that's, yeah. Do you want to try to get into working into longer outings in terms of innings pitched, or is five where you're about comfortable right now, or is it just based on situation and, and being up by a lot and trying to get guys work? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I would definitely like to kind of stretch that to six, seven, you know, as, as far as I can go. I know uh, sometimes they're just kind of worried about pitch count. You know, not over pitching anyone, but yeah, if I can get up there six, seven innings, then that's that's where I'd like to be. Have they given you a pitch count where they're comfortable with you at at this point in the season? As far as right now, I'm not sure. I think they're just kind of playing it week by week. Uh, they don't really tell me what I've got, but uh, you know, from my end, I'm just kind of trying to be as efficient as possible, and then uh, I'll let them take me out when they need to. Uh. Since your first, between your first start and today, when had you thrown and in what uh, situation or scenario, like a bullpen or an inter squad? Or? Um, so, let's see, I started Sunday. So, I mean, I've been thrown every week or every day. Um, I think I bullpened last Saturday in Round Rock. Uh, about two days before, yeah, two days before, or three days before. Bullpen Saturday, and then Wednesday, I threw a short box, which is just kind of a sh modified, shorter version of that. Yeah. How many pitches you throw like that bullpen on Saturday? Is that like 25? Or yeah, it's, some, it's brief, 20, 25, just to get some feel. For you guys as a whole, as a team, to have Round Rock, you know, go late into the night, the last game, probably get in. <clears throat> maybe day or two before your next game. How do you think you guys responded and were able to bounce back? It seemed, didn't, didn't, didn't seem to be much of an issue. Yeah, that's a tough thing to do. I mean, <clears throat> we got in pretty late, but I mean, I think obviously we bounced back pretty well. I think a lot of guys just kind of, you know, as far as Monday went, just did what they needed to do, uh, were efficient with it, and then you know, just made sure they were rested up. Yeah. What's the biggest thing you guys, you think you guys learned as a team from Round Rock, because no offense to Southern or Houston Baptist or Northern Colorado, but that was the first like maybe uptick in competition that you guys saw. Yeah, I mean you can't really take any any team for granted. Uh, I think we all noticed that, you know, after Tennessee and, and all those. Not saying that we did, but um, obviously it's kind of like you just got to play at your highest level every outing. You know, whether that be pitching or hitting, whatever team you're going up against. I mean, you just got to play uh, the best you can and compete and do what you can do. You obviously seem to be comfortable out there. Um, does this sort of make things easier when you have that big lead, or do you sort of like the intensity of a close game? I mean, I guess it can go both ways. You know, I like I like close games. Uh, you know, I'd say most pitchers do. It kind of gives them the competitive edge. But <clears throat> you got to stay competitive the whole time, and you got to work pitch to pitch. And, you know, having a lead is nice. Because uh, you, like I said, you can kind of maybe ease up or relax a little bit, not ease up. But when it comes down to it, it's just you got to make a pitch uh, the best you can. For you, I think you, early last year, you threw on weekends, right? And yeah. You kind of moved in midweek role. Is there a difference in the way you have to prepare because it's a different day or is it kind of all the same? As far as day to day, obviously you're going to be throwing bullpens on, on different days. Um, 
but I would say it's pretty much the same. You know, it, you throw a bullpen two or three days before, uh, you know, long toss here and there. But I'd say you prepare the same uh, depending on which day of the week you throw. Did you uh, say Tanner or Braxton for saving you a little bit on your ERA? <laughs> Dang, I actually didn't. I need to. I need to let Tanner know that was awesome, though, wasn't it? Uh, I honestly didn't. I didn't know if he was safe or out, but it was a great play. Yeah. What's kind of what kind of a, I think we might have asked you, or um, but what kind of I guess safety blanket is it having Braxton back there and just knowing that he's pretty much got your back? There's not a better defensive catcher maybe in the nation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, he's great behind the plate, and <clears throat> it's nice to have a guy you can rely on back there. And, I mean, I rely on all three of our guys, but, you know, Braxton's been here for three years now, and he knows the game as well as anyone. And it's just – it's nice to know that if there's a runner on, uh, obviously you've got to hold him the best you can, but it's nice to know that, like, there's a good chance he'll probably get thrown out. And that that's nice to know.